Okay, I'm gonna start this video a little bit different than usual. I'm gonna do my unboxing and then later on, I'm gonna do my full review of the battery. Just gonna open this up now because we had a storm roll through. There's a power outage at a friend's house and I wanna use this battery to power an inverter in order to keep their fridge cool and keep their TV on and some lights on. So I'm gonna do the unboxing now in this video clip. And then later on, I'm going to do a full teardown, charging, review, everything. So uh, this is the Bacteria Power Battery. This is their 100 amp hour battery, uh, powered by lithium iron phosphate, which is a great chemistry of battery to be using. So we're going to get into the unboxing. Uh, just a quick note on the box here. Uh, we have our model. This is the BP12100. Capacity, 2.8 volt, 100 amp hour. And then we have our dimensions and our weight, 12.5 kilograms, barely weighs anything, quantity one. So right away, we have our user manual, which is always nice. Uh, this is gonna give us all of our charging and discharging. I'll go through this in uh, the next clip. So we have some nice foam to protect it. And wow, this looks really nice. Oh, we got some cables. So it looks like we have some cables here. This appears to be six gauge, 200 degree rated temperature wire. Uh, very nice. So on the outside of the battery, we have our positive and our negative. Uh, looks like we have an M8 bolt and we have a washer and a split washer and then our Phillips screwdriver. And then on the front here, as you can see, we have our model, uh, charging voltage 14.6 discharge of down to 10.4 volts, uh, working current 100 amps, discharge temperature uh, minus 10 to 60 degrees and storage temperature is zero to 45. On this side here, we have our model number, 12.8 volts, 100 amp hour, lithium iron phosphate and 4,000 charged. Outside of that, this is the other side of the battery. We have our nice logo here. Not too much else to talk about. Uh, case looks pretty good. So in the next video, um, I'm gonna charge and discharge and do a capacity test. I'm gonna try and tear this battery down. We'll see what the internals are. Look at the BMS, look at the wiring, look at everything. And uh, yeah, so that'll be in the next clip I do. Uh, this, just wanna get this out now and start using it. So, I'll be right back. One thing they don't mention on the back of this battery is the charging temperature, which I would like to see the charging temperature added onto this as well which is gonna be do not charge your battery below zero degrees Celsius. And looking at the manual, we can see right away on here, the chemistry, the voltage, a lot of the same information that is on the battery itself. And here you can see we have our charge life, 80% depth of discharge, and that's where you get the 4,000 charge cycles. So even after 4,000 charge cycles, you will still have 80% of the overall capacity. So you have your maximum discharge current continuous, which is 100 amps, peak discharge 200 amps, end of discharge voltage 10 volts, maximum charging current of 100 amps, so you can do 100 amps charging and 100 amps discharging, parallel configuration 4 and series configuration 4, which is nice. So you can make a 48 volt battery out of four of these batteries. And operating temperature, your charge is plus zero degrees to 45 degrees, which is nice, but they do not print it on the battery, which is okay, it's in the manual. Your storage temperature, your humidity, it has a protection class, so this is waterproof, dustproof. It has a IP65 rating, uses an M eight bolt and you have your battery size and your weight of 12 kilograms and this just shows a bit more about the battery and some of the different things you can use applications and that's about it and that's the manual now to charge this battery i'm going to be using my 45 amp charger from progressive dynamic and we are charging with 43.8 amps so i'll come back when this battery is fully charged and we'll hook up our tester and do a capacity test. Okay, now I have my test rig here set up. So before we test the capacity of the battery, I'm gonna test the over voltage protection on the BMS. And there you can see there, it just disconnected. So the over voltage protection works.
Okay, so for my test rig, I have a pure sine wave inverter by Reliable Electric. So I have my torch tester here. This is gonna show the volts, the amps, the power in watts, and then it's gonna give me a kilowatt hour and an amp hour reading at the end. So we can start the test. I have incandescent light bulbs hooked up here, and this is gonna run roughly about a 0.2 C discharge rate. And we're gonna let this run. It should take roughly about five hours and we will get our amp hour capacity at the end. All right, test complete. The inverter has had its load voltage disconnect and looks like we are sitting at 107.83 amp hours. So that is above the rated capacity of this battery, which I always love to see. All right, so just below 108 amp hours. So we tested above capacity on this battery. So now it's time to take the battery apart, open it up and see what's inside, which is my favorite part of the videos. So I'm gonna take this apart. I'm gonna try and take it apart the less intrusive way that I can, which is gonna be with a hammer and some chisels. All right, uh, I'm gonna call defeat. I've tried the uh, putty knife method, but this lid is just on too good, so I'm gonna have to destroy the battery. Well, destroy the case anyways. So I'm gonna use my Dremel and just cut all the way around. If you can't see on the camera, this is filled with like a gel, almost like a silica gel. Or if you can see that, this this battery is in here with like a like a gel, like a like a, a silica gel almost. Okay, well this is going to take a lot longer than I had anticipated. And then they've got the terminals all glued here, so it looks like they have three pairs of 10 gauge wire rated at 200 degrees on the negative and also on the positive they have 10 gauge wire with a 200 degree C rating this almost feels like the side of the pack so I'm gonna gently cut into this just to see if I can spot out where the BMS is where everything is on the pack Okay, so it looks like we have some fiber board here. This was covering the top of the cells. And I can see from here that we have four cells in series. And this is gonna be the BMS over here. And all our terminals are up top up here. So unfortunately, unless I can wiggle this battery out. So something I'm gonna mention here quick, I'm gonna try and deactivate the BMS by pulling out balance cables out of the BMS. It is, it is glued in here so it doesn't ac accidentally get yanked out. It's very nice uh, wire management on this. Okay, perfect. I've got the uh, BMS deactivated now. Okay, I've got the lid disconnected. They've got it glued extremely well. As you can see here, we have a washer and a split washer. And this was on there so hard, I had to use my impact gun to get it off. Now for safety, I'm just going to tape up the ring terminals. All right. Ha! Take that bacteria. Okay, we got the cells out. Uh, let's have a closer look here. So we have our BMS over here. This is our main negative. We have every single port here has uh, glue on it and it's screwed with a lock washer and a washer. And we have three 10 gauge wires coming over here to a laser welded terminal. And then same on the positive side, we just have it coming over and then laser welded onto the terminal. On the terminal itself, so for connection of these wires, it looks like they soldered them on and they got it to temperature because this solder is nice and shiny. 
So there's good connection here and here and here and here. And then you can see the balance leads. It looks like they've soldered them as well and put glue on to ensure that they stay affixed. Let's see if we can't see what type of cells they're using. Okay, so for the battery cell, that's the QR code. It is 005158, 3.2 volt. And on the side, it's S0121H01. So with a quick Google search, I was not able to find out what brand of cells these are, although they did pull uh, full capacity, so I have no doubt that they're grade A cells. There's no bloating. Uh, they have separation here with some sponge pads, keep the cells separated. Uh, they seem to be very straight, so I'm gonna say these are grade A cells. So now for the BMS, very carefully, so one thing I would have liked to have seen is instead of one solid piece here, maybe done strips, because this is a heat sink and this needs to be able to breathe in order to dissipate heat because all the fets are lined up up against this piece of metal here. So maybe if they had to had some slots instead of just one solid piece like this, but that's just my thoughts. So for the BMS, uh, it's in Chinese. It looks like we have a charge of 100 amps and discharge of 100 amps, which is what the manual says, as well as 85 volts. That's gonna be for your series connect. And then we have, looks like a serial number of JWZN906A. And a manufacturer date of looks like December 1st, 2001. And what I did notice is I can see that there is a temperature sensor on here. So we're gonna test this for cold temperature disconnect temperature sensor was tucked down in between the cells. So I'm now currently charging with 10 amps. Uh, we're gonna stick the temperature sensor inside of this uh, cold gel pack and we'll see if we can't trigger a cold temperature disconnect. And it doesn't seem to be disconnecting. Okay, so it doesn't seem to have cold temperature disconnect. This ice pack is uh, minus four degrees Celsius, minus five degrees Celsius. So this should be more than enough to trigger this BMS to hit the uh, cold temperature disconnect. Yeah, see, I'm testing the cold temperature disconnect. Oh, and it just went off. There we go, the charging cut off because the high temperature sensor. Okay, so that's uh, my review. This is gonna wrap it up for the bacteria teardown and review. Now we did pass the capacity test with just under 108 amps. We passed the overcurrent protection. We passed the over voltage protection. The build quality is good. Very solid case. The cells look all perfect. Uh, I would buy this battery. It's on right now for $359 American. So check them out. I'll leave a link in the description so you can check out the battery. All right, thanks, bye.